episode. Okay. You have been saying some pretty uh, wrong things. First off, when you said God prayed to Muhammad, it's actually prayed on Muhammad. That's exactly uh, what I said. That's what it says. It says, Yasallah Allah alayhu. That's what I said. I did not say he prayed to Muhammad. I said he prayed on Muhammad. Now, what's your second point? That, that you are making a big deal on his name. Uh, I, my name is Muhammad, and it is spelled differently from his, and the parents only want uh, to, uh, to respectfully give uh, their uh, male children the, 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 the desired name that uh, they would wish. And also, uh, you have been saying that uh, we would go crazy and homicidal and sexually insane over Muhammad, even if it involves a cartoon. Yes, and, uh, you do. What? Yes, of course. That's exactly right. We can make a cartoon of any of the uh, prophets according to Islam, whether it be Adam or Noah. I mean, how many cartoons are in the paper about Noah, about Jesus, uh, about Abraham? Muslims could care less. But when you make a, a cartoon about Muhammad, when Muhammad is, appears in anything, uh, yes, Muslims do go crazy. Thank you very much for your description. Homicidal, really maniacs. Absolutely. That's the spirit of Antichrist that's manifesting. It's manifesting in you right now. Go ahead, manifest it. Sure. Um, so I'm his sister, Muhammad's sister, and I would like to elaborate a little bit of what my brother just said. Go ahead. We're, we're waiting. we got more callers behind you. Go ahead. Okay that the idea that Muslims don't um, draw out obscene cartoons, I've never heard of that before. I don't know any Muslim that has drawn any anything wrong about Moses or Jesus or Muhammad. No, no, just, 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 just to clarify, just to, just to clarify, one, one, one second, one second, one, one second, and then we'll let you continue, because we, we, want to, we, want to, we want to clarify what we've claimed. What we're saying is that when someone draws a cartoon about Muhammad, the issue is... Uh, Muslims say, ah, oh, we just believe in Muhammad like, like any other. Muhammad's just a regular human being. The point is, if someone today draws a picture of Jesus, no Muslims are going to get angry or upset or kill anyone because someone has drawn a picture of Jesus. Now, Muslims claim that they treat all the prophets the same. If you draw a picture of, if someone draws a picture of Adam, no Muslims are going to kill anyone. If you draw a picture of Jesus or of Moses or of David, no Muslims are going to get mad or kill anyone. If you, if someone draws a picture of Muhammad, just like what happened a couple of years ago when uh, Danish cartoonists drew some pictures of Muhammad, over a hundred people were slaughtered because of that. Uh, that's our point. There will be rioting in the streets. If, uh, if I sit here right now and draw a big cartoon about Muhammad and plaster it all over this screen, people could die. And that's what we're saying. You're not, the only point of all of this was you're not treating Muhammad just like a human being. When you say, look, draw a picture of anyone in all of history, no problem. Draw a picture of Muhammad. <coughs> people have to die. Dozens of people around the, around the world have to die. People broke into the, a Muslim broke into the cartoonist's house with an ax to try and hack him up. Fortunately, he had a panic room, a little emergency room, uh, enclosed in steel to keep this guy from chopping his head off with an axe. That's, that's our only point. So you can say that you wouldn't attack someone over a cartoon, and I'm sure you wouldn't. Our point is, lots of Muslims will. That's the only thing we're saying. That's right, and that's highly unfortunate. I would never justify mass killings. Over I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, we, we didn't say you would. Our point is, many Muslims okay. do. And again, over 100 people were killed over a cartoon in a Danish newspaper Go, go, you can go on YouTube, you can see videos of Muslims protesting around uh, Danish embassies Burning saying, Osama is coming for you, we're going to slaughter you, we're going to kill you, death to those who insult Islam. We're not saying you do it, we're not saying you do it, we're not saying your brother does it, we're not saying anyone you know does it. We're saying this does happen because Muslims do get extremely offended whenever anyone says anything uh, they don't like about Muhammad. Okay, real quickly, more on topic. More, one second, one second. One, more on topic. What do you think about the evidence Brother Walid has put forth and Brother David 
that Muhammad was demon-possessed. After all, Muhammad himself claimed that he thought he was demon-possessed when he first received the revelations. He would have seizures, epileptic seizures. Other people thought he was demon-possessed. And then we find that he delivered satanic verses. He was suicidal. We see that uh, the eschatology or the end times of Islam, it fits perfectly the picture of the antichrist or the satanic spirit which is described in the Bible. What do you have to say about all of these things? I will say with a very clear answer, I actually don't think that Christians should allow the depictions of Jesus in animation as well. If you love your prophet as much as you... Okay, you're running from the question. Do you want to speak on the topic? Do you want to speak on the topic or shall we go to the next caller? In his history, you don't want to misrepresent... Okay, goodbye. We got people waiting. Thank you for your call. Have a nice evening. All right, let's take the next caller, and hopefully they can stick to the topic. Uh, thank you so much for calling, and now let's take the next caller right now. Welcome, you're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello? Yes, hello. Welcome to our program. Yes, this is Ara. God bless you. God bless you. I have some, uh, I have some observation. I would like to see what you think about it. I think uh, God's war with Satan started when Adam fell to the sin and was kicked out of the uh, paradise. And uh, God sent all his messengers to show people the way back to paradise. And somehow, Satan succeeded in, uh, you know, disturbing the message. For that, he sent part of his spirit, which is Jesus, to show us the way. And Jesus succeeded in defeating Satan and defeating death and show us hope for the future and the way to paradise. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I think Satan succeeded in coming back through the, the Quran. Because Amen. if you read the Quran, it attacks God. Even if you see when he speaks Adam with Moses, he blames God for his failure. And uh, they, they describe God as a deceiver and all the, the rest, you know. And uh, today, even, if you see the followers of the Quran, if you curse God, they don't care much. But if you curse Muhammad, it's a big war. Absolutely. This is the idol. This is what we're trying to tell this uh, man and his sister just before, who were very strange, by the way, uh, that, yeah, Muhammad is an idol. Whenever you touch someone's idol, whatever it is, whether it's, whether it's a false god, whether it's sex, whether it's money, whether it's alcohol, they go berserk. And that's exactly what happens with Muslims when you touch Muhammad, not Allah. I've been Iwad all over the Middle East, and it's very easy to see when you... When you speak against God, they don't care much. But when you talk about Muhammad and against him, they want to kill you. Right. This Absolutely. Fact, and you can see it every day. Yeah. You know. So for yeah. that, I think the Quran is a satanic book. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. All right. Thanks so much That's for your call. Any question for Brother Walid or David? No, he, he is excellent. And I encourage him to go on. He has the right way. Thank you, brother, for your call. Brother David would like to say something real quick. Uh, yes, I, I just, for the people who just called in, in relation to this call, but, but for the, the Muslim brother and sister who, who just called in, it, they didn't sound like they would want to kill anyone over making an offensive picture about Muhammad. Uh, and we pointed out that many Muslims would. I think it's important to note that Muhammad's original followers would. And if you go back to your Muslim sources, you'll find that when someone would sit down and write a poem criticizing Muhammad or criticizing Islam, Muhammad would order his followers to go and slaughter that person. So look up Asma bint Marwan and see what she did. See what she did to deserve uh, the death penalty, according to Muhammad. Muhammad ordered his followers to go and kill her in her bed while she's nursing her baby because she wrote an offensive poem towards the Muslims. The reason she wrote an offensive poem towards the Muslims was she was angry that uh, Muslims had killed a man named Abu Afak in his sleep because he had written an, a, a poem that was offensive to Muslims. If you read uh, Sunan Abu Dawood, you'll see uh, people being slaughtered for criticizing Muhammad, and Muhammad says no penalty for killing those people because they were speaking against him. So just think about this, because many westernized Muslims will say, oh, you're saying that we would, kill, we would never kill over making something offensive about Muhammad. Well then, you're not being good Muslims, are you? Because that's exactly what Muhammad would do. Okay, very good. Thank you, David. You know, Thank you for your call. Brother Walid, you have a comment? You know, it's interesting. Uh, when the Pope made the statement 
they said uh, Islam must never spread, be propagated through violence. You yeah. had uh, <coughs> millions of Muslims taken to the streets, yeah. carrying banners that says Islam is a peaceful religion. They wanted right. to correct him. Yeah. Well, Islam is a peaceful religion. How dare you say that Islam should not be spread through violence? <laughs> Islam means peace. Big banners. Sure. You